Tower Lighting people and welcome to a special edition of Five Big Questions. We are live at Light Fair 2023. We found our way into the booth of Crestron and we're here with Bill Schaefer, the Executive Vice President of the Lighting Business. Bill, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Bill, I tried to up my sport coat game knowing I was going to be talking to you. This is the boldest one in my closet, and I'm still shamed by your awesome wardrobe. So congrats on that. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. But Bill, let's talk about business because Crestron's business has been around a long time, and it seems that your, your, your lighting business has also been around for decades, and your, your brand has been involved in lots of projects, notably some very large large-scale and well-known projects. I visited the Green Bay Packers uh, Lambeau Field a couple of seasons ago and saw your installation there. So how is it, or tell us more about this large-scale project approach that you folks have. Well, a big part of our customers are enterprise-grade customers, corporate America, large university schools, and we have special teams that call on those people. 80 to, 85 to 90 percent of that market uses Crestron on the AV side for UC and AV solutions. So it's easy to tap into those same customers and say, hey, we're doing your, your project here for the, the unified communications for the AV. Let's do lighting control together. and Let's make an, an innovative building solution, one solution for your whole project. So that's why we win some of those bigger jobs. Well, it, it also takes like the, the, the backbone and the systems and everything else. So the, the engineering that goes into those, the applications team that you have, it, it seems pretty robust. It is. We have hundreds of engineers, and uh, uh, you know those those are categorized to some degree by speciality. But we can leverage those people to do different things. So when you've got uh, maybe a, a guy who's normally building or designing software for an AV component, but we we need his expertise to help us with a lighting component. We can use that resource. That's fantastic. A moment ago, you mentioned um, you know the other parts of the Crestron business. Of course, you wake up every day thinking about lighting, but Crestron as a business. You know, various reports have you folks over $1 billion in annual revenue, very large company, um, maybe most well known for being involved in residential commercial AV circles. So how does that part of the, the Crestron ecosystem uh, affect or impact the lighting side of things? Well, like I said, we, we can share those resources. It actually helps. It doesn't hurt us by any means. Uh, we've learned things uh, through, the, through the development of products on the AV side that we've been able to take and, and utilize. Best example of that is we brought in Ethernet into the lighting control platform, which is something we started in 2001. We started putting ethernet jacks on control systems for AV. Everyone thought we were nuts. Now we've got a fully integrated ethernet based, uh, it, it's really as close as you can get to PoE, but not. It, it's, it's conventional with DALI and DMX, but we embraced all the knowledge we have from ethernet over the years that we use in government and corporate America. We couldn't do that if we didn't have those teams. That's, uh, that's fantastic, because you're right, there's a scalability of, of small and large projects where you need to have the, it backed up by those teams. And, and speaking of lighting controls, and, and you spend lots of time with, with specifiers or your business partners who are working with various specifiers across the country. And as you know, specifiers can be finicky about a lot of things, particularly when it comes to controls. And sometimes it's because old habits die young. If they're used to using brand X or brand Y, being introduced to brand Z is just a different way of thinking and they might not want to change their ways. So if you had an opportunity to speak to a specifier who might not be overly familiar with the Crestron offering, what would you say to him or her? Well, it, it's, it's a hard subject. You have to remind them that, that, that times are changing. Everything constantly is evolving and changing. It's a little easier in our industry because that same specifier did transition from incandescent lamps to fluorescent to LED. So it, every now and then I, I have somebody make that statement to them. Oh, I've been using brand X for forever and I'm not going to change. And I'm like, do you still do fluorescent fixtures? And they're like, oh, no, you know. And, but we are seeing that they are very interested and their customers are asking for things that really only we can do. And so that, those things together, just working with them and showing them that there's better options out there and then what does the customer really want? is bringing those people along, and they are changing. And that's, that's important, because you're right, that, that's a great way to challenge them on their, their, their paradigm shift, is to talk about those other technologies which are non-existent, or at least being phased out. And, and let's shift gears to kind of just Crestron's approach to the market. Um, there's been lots of talk about Light Fair for the last three years since the, they were postponed and canceled during the pandemic, and, and now we're here, and you folks, again, are supporting Lightfair in a big way. Why is it important for Crestron to be at Lightfair? 
You know, it, it is important because Lightfair came to us uh, last time it was in New York City. They gave every manufacturer the option to stay or pull out, uh, defer your money, change your booth size. We stayed. We stayed. We shrunk our booth a little bit, but we stayed. Um, my personal feeling is if you're going to support this business, if you're going to be in this business, support the organizations and the industry. Um, if you're not a manufacturer here, maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't have anything new to show. Maybe you have other reasons that you're not here uh, that you don't want to talk about. But to me, this is absolutely the most important place to be for us to show our products, to show that we are a healthy company in a time where supply chain and other crises have really damaged other manufacturers, put some of them out of business. Um, we need to show that we're here. We need to show the industry, we need to show the customers, the designers, the engineers, that we're here. We're committed to this organization and the industry. Well, you have a great spot here and I appreciate um, that, that commitment. Thank you for exhibiting uh, and thank you to your Crestron and Pierce for making that happen too. And when, when we looked forward, Bill, and you know, I think it was actually a light fair show, I don't know, Philadelphia 2017, 2019, when I first saw Zoom for the first time and you folks have um, built upon your Zoom. That's Z-U-M right. with a little dash over to you. Your Zoom platform has grown nicely. I think you have wired and wireless solutions and over time that's built nicely. And the first time I saw it was a light fair. So um, what are you showing that's new here today or what do you have in the pipeline for the short term future that you can talk about? Yeah, absolutely. We've got the Zoom outdoor, yeah. um, which is where we're sitting here. We, we are showing that actually working this show. Uh, we also are behind the bar over here. We have our new Zoom DIN rail which will be the future of all panel-based solutions that we do. And the other reason that we're developing so much into that, Crestron's a global company. We have global customers. So I want to sell somebody a Zoom, a Zoom system here in the United States. I need to be able to sell it to them in Europe, in Australia, in Asia. And so we need to have the platform that will work for both. And Zoom DIN rail will allow that to happen. As a curious lighting guy, sometimes I go to some of these retailers. I happen to live near some large global retailers that have high-end presence all over the world. And it's not unusual to see a Crestron keypad <laughs> on the wall. So I imagine that uh, some of that, that geographic uh, ability for you folks to not only provide North American solutions, but worldwide solutions is pretty important. It is very important. That's excellent. Important. That's excellent. So I'll need you to help me get a discount at some of those high-end retailers <laughs> if you can swing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll also need you to tell me where to shop for a good looking uh, suit like that, Bill. You're going to have to go to Australia for this one. Okay. That's not happening. That's not <laughs> happening. But Bill, our, I wish I had 10 questions. Our five questions is up. I know you have to run to a meeting, but thank you so much for spending some time with us. It was great to catch up with you and to learn more about what Crestron up to. Thank you very much. Hey there, we really enjoyed that discussion. We hope that you did as well. Be sure to click that big LED logo next to me and what that'll do is subscribe you to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next five big questions interview. And YouTube subscribers always receive an early preview to the next interview before we even post it on the Inside Lighting website. Thanks and we'll see you next time.